becoming infected and more and more people becoming infected, um, essentially the uh, disease no longer spreads through that population and they become uh, immune to the disease. So Herd immunity has been a word that's been tossed around a lot lately, but what is it and how effective is herd immunity? Big Two's Felice Romero spoke to an expert today to get the facts. She joins us now live with more details. Good evening, Felice. Katie, we've heard the term before from doctors here at MCH and top officials in the White House. But we wanted to take a deeper look into herd immunity and see how it works and if it could help slow the spread of COVID-19 right here in the Permian Basin. As COVID-19 continues to claim the lives of thousands, top officials are brainstorming ways to get a hold of this virus. The White House at one point suggesting to allow the virus to spread among, quote, healthy young people and rely on herd immunity through infection. Because of the severity of the disease, the number of people that it's affecting at a time, it overwhelms uh, the health care access, the health care uh, services. And so it's, it's really, really problematic. According to Dr. Davenport, the only way to move forward with a herd immunity plan is if a vaccine is widely available. That way, the effects are not as deadly and don't lead to more hospitalizations. Our problem is we're full. I mean, that's, that's just what it gets down to. We're, we're full with people waiting to get in here. Here in the Permian Basin, hospitals are already seeing their second COVID-19 spike, requiring them to enact visitation policies from earlier in the year. Russell Myers of MMH says this spike could be worse than the first. We are in a critical time for our community. I would say this is worse than the first peak because it is so much more widespread. For now, the best thing to do is wear a mask and socially distance. Social distancing does work. It slows the spread. Masks do work. It helps slow the spread and protect individuals. Dr. Davenport said herd immunity does work, but only if we can ensure a way that those infected will not get so sick that they have to be hospitalized. Otherwise, hospital staff will get overwhelmed by the surge in cases. Reporting live in Odessa, Feliz Romero, Big 2 News.